I'm pretty sure you must have seen some of these uh, devices shown here in your day-to-day -day life and these are commonly what I call as LEDs and these are what is colloquially called as lasers. So the question I want to pose is that what is the difference between a LED and a laser? So we know that from our, you know, our knowledge that we have built upon semiconductor devices that both of them use a PN junction or both of them use, make use of a P-type semiconductor and an N-type dope semiconductor. Sometimes they are in the same material, then you call it a homo-PN junction. And sometimes these PNN regions are made of different materials. That is what you call as hetero junction. But both of them make use of this PN junction. So now what's the difference? So to understand the difference, let's look at the output of you know the light that G these, light, these devices generate. So we know both LEDs and lasers, they give out light. And in the case of LED, you can see this is a green LED. And this is a, a red LED and this is a blue LED. And similarly over here, this is a blue laser, this is a green laser, and uh, this is a red laser. But even from our day-to-day -day use, we, we notice that you know there are some differences. Even though both of these devices are giving out light, we are, we are, there are some distinguishing, we, there are some distinguishing features between the light which uh, comes out uh, out of an LED. So shown here, I'm, I'm showing here is a picture from, you know, similar to what you see in Star Wars or one of these uh, sci-fi movies. So you can clearly see that the light from the laser, both in this picture and this uh, picture over here, you see that the light is very directional or you can see that the light is almost like a beam. While over here, you see that the light is essentially, you know, it's spreading out. You see this glow around it and this light is, is you know, going in all different uh, directions. So you see that the light which is coming out from laser is, is very directional. So in other words, you know, what we can, if you think of light in terms of, uh, in terms of photons, what's happening is in the case of LED, you have these photons which are coming out in different directions. But in the case of a laser, what's happening is in the case of a laser, you have these uh, different photons which are essentially coming out all in the same direction. So these photons are all coming out in the same direction. A more technical term to convey the same idea that I just described is that these photons are coming out all in the same direction is, uh, is sometimes what we refer to as the light coming out from the laser it has spatial coherence. So what I call as the light coming out from laser, it has spatial coherence. And this is, this is you know, one way I can uh, denote uh, this idea. So another thing which I'm sure you must have uh, noticed that the light which comes out uh, from, uh, from this uh, laser, if you have used a laser pointer, it it's, appears to be of very high intensity and you know, it come, appears to be very monochromatic. So this, this, this light which is coming out uh, from the laser, if you have ever used a green laser pointer, you must have noticed that you know, how bright, you must have been in awe sometimes at how bright that uh, green laser pointer was. And uh, you know, this is conveyed uh, in this uh, in this uh, popular uh, image uh, from uh, from this movie where you know this this person is wearing this mask to protect himself from this intensity of the light uh, beam so in other words uh, what i uh, what i also know is the light which comes out from uh, from my laser it has higher intensity or it's more monochromatic so Anna, let me let me draw this uh, dotted line to separate out my laser and my LED and let me you know so I can make this uh, dotted line go around so another another way to describe this another way I can uh, describe this is you know by graphing the graphing the intensity of uh, light which comes out from the LED versus the light which uh, comes out uh, from the laser. So what I'll graph is that I'll plot the intensity of the light which uh, comes out as a function of my wavelength or in other words as a function of my frequency. So if I do that what I notice is that in the case of a LED I see my intensity, I see that the graph, it looks something like this. 
so i have a peak intensity i have a i have a frequency at which you know i get a, a maximum intensity of my light output but i'll see that there are you know there are other other frequencies which are present uh, in these uh, in this uh, in this uh, light uh, as well so i you know if i see these if i'm if i look at these individual photons so i'll see some photons which are you know coming out at this uh, maximum frequency but i'll also see other photons which are coming out at you know essentially a lower frequency and I'll see some photons which are coming out at a higher frequency. So I'll see, you know, some photons which are over here and some photons uh, which are over, over here. But if I do the same thing for a laser, so if I, you know, look uh, under the hood, if I measure this again, if I measure, if I graph this uh, intensity as a function of uh, uh, as a function of uh, frequency for for my laser what i see is that i see a very sharp peak so i'll see that most of my light is essentially is is coming out at this one single frequency and then i see you know, a very low background so i'll see a very low background of uh, light or i'll see a very low intensity at all the other frequencies so i'll see that most of my intensity is it's concentrated at this at this uh, one one particular uh, frequency and that is why you know the the light from uh, light from uh, light from this laser it appears to be you know a very monochromatic uh, light source so all of these photons they are coming out at this uh, one particular uh, frequency another way to to you know to convey the same idea is that we say the the light uh, from uh, the light from uh, which comes out from a laser has what we call as a temporal uh, co coherence so we call as this this light has essentially you know temporal uh, temporal uh, coherence and uh, so why is why is this the case? You know, what 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 is making this light uh, from uh, LED different uh, from uh, the light uh, from a laser? And that has to do, you know, something with this something that uh, this dude uh, describes. So you know, with this this person we know is is Albert uh, Einstein, and he he described this process. And you know, once you think about the LEDs and uh, laser, a thought that comes is that this this uh, these are all semiconductor conductor devices and this dude is, is you know most famous for his his theory of uh, relativity and so on so what is he doing in these uh, semiconductor devices you know what is he you know uh, why is he mucking around with uh, semiconductors so we have already seen you know one place that we have seen him muck around so we have seen this uh, Einstein relationship where we related our diffusion uh, coefficient and it was a function of uh, it was a function of uh, essentially of my uh, mobility and I, I you know I knew that 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 was that is what we call as Einstein relationship so we know that you know some of the ideas that he he came up with are in fact uh, used in 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 semiconductor and in fact he described this process that I'll describe uh, in this uh, next video that is a simulated emission that is simulated emission and then he described this process of simulated emission and described how it's different from uh, spontaneous uh, emission and we'll we'll discuss this uh, in the next video and what we'll see is that uh, our led they they are essentially devices which operate with uh, spontaneous emission while the laser is a device which uses uh, this uh, simulated emission and that's what makes this uh, spectrum which comes out of these uh, two devices are uh, very different.